Hey, this is Donna St. Louis here. How are you today? And I am away from home. I'm on the road. I am in, uh, where am I? I'm in the Orlando area. I'm actually in Winter Haven and I'm getting ready to go on stage. Um, heading out right now, I'm supposed to be on stage at 1230, but I thought I would come in and give you a quick um, shout out. One of the things that I hear all the time is people ask me, how do I close more business and big deals? Um, people think, I think, you know, I've, I've gotten people going, well, it's easy for you because people just come to your website. Um, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I get some people that come to my website, but not everyone. Um, but there is something that I do. Hey, what's up, Lynn? There is something, there is like this little trick that I have, a uh, little trick up my sleeve that I have to get more buyers to buy. So we know that you're supposed to um, talk about money, right? You're supposed to solve the problem of money, efficiency, productivity, and quality. Those are the solutions. We always talk about solving those challenges, you know, and, and, and making sure that we bring that solution when we're delivering whatever it is that we're delivering. However, the challenge is, is that most people don't actually make a decision based on solving a challenge. They use that challenge to justify whatever decision they want to make, even if that decision is a little unreasonable. So let me give you an example. Um, it's great to see you too. It's great to see you too, Lynn. Um, let me give you an ex example. My husband back in 2010 wanted to buy, uh, he had to get a new phone, mainly because his Blackberry had gone to hell and the buttons got stuck and he needed to take it over to the Verizon store and it was going to be free. He was just going to swap it out because it was still under warranty. It was going to take him like 20 minutes. My husband's a really reasonable guy. However, that same year, the iPhone 4 had come out and he really wanted an iPhone 4. And so instead of getting the Blackberry, my husband spent $600, waited 30 days, and got an iPhone 4 that was on back order. He justified his desire for an iPhone 4 by the need, the logic or the need, I needed, he needed a phone, right? So he filled his need, but he used, but his, his decision to buy an iPhone 4 was quite illogical. He was driven by his desire. There are seven triggers that actually drive people to make a decision. And when you learn how to negotiate, when you negotiate appropriately, when you're listening to that conversation, they will actually tell you what their triggers are. So I'll just spit them out for you really quickly. I won't have time to go over all of them because I do have to go and get on stage, but here they are. People are driven by reputation. They don't want to be embarrassed. They want prestige, acceptance. They don't want to miss out. They want to keep up with the Joneses. They're driven by money, a little bit of greed, right? They're driven by indulgence. They're driven, they want the thing that they didn't think they could have. They want simplicity. They want things to be faster. They want to be a little easier. They're driven by dominance, which is competition, right? They don't want to win. They don't want to lose. Don't want to lose. And not only do they want to win, they want to completely annihilate. And they're driven by cravings. So they're driven by seven things. There are trigger words when people are speaking. They actually will tell you what they're driven by. So if you listen, if you follow the LQS, which is listen, question, speak, if you follow the LQS ratio, you can actually hear what people are saying and they will tell you, this is my button. If you push this button, I will spend more money. Happens all the time, all the time. So here's two things for you. First of all, what is your trigger? And by the way, most people have three that are, that are really on top, of, that are always at the top. So most people have three. What do you think your triggers are? That's number one. And number two, what do you think your target market's triggers are? Because if you can understand your trigger, as well as what your target market's triggers are, you'll know exactly how to speak the language of your target market. And you'll also know how not to sell for yourself, but rather sell for the people that you're talking to. Listen, if you want to know more about this, because again, I got to go jump on stage, go to createkickasscopy.com and sign up for the sign up for the webinar. The webinar will tell you everything there is to know about triggers and exactly what I do to close more deals faster because I do it all the time. People will always want to know, well, how am I doing it? That's one of my little secrets. It's the whole psychology of the cell, right? How do I get in their head? That's how I do it. And it works like nobody's business. 
Anyway, I got to get on stage. This was Donna St. Louis. Go to createkickasscopy.com. Sign up for the register. Sign up, register for the webinar because it's totally free. And find those triggers. So that way, not only can you write great copy for your website, not only can you um, have great marketing, but you can even have great marketing conversations that help you close more deals faster. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Uh, acceptance fall into the category of significance. Significance is reputation. That's reputation. People want their reputation. They want to be significant. They don't want to be embarrassed. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye.